Okay, so by now we should have our two image views, our button, we have set up our outlets, and we have also added in all of our assets uh, ready to get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is to create a blank deck. So this is uh, probably the least sophisticated way that we can do it, uh, but it's a good way for you to start using lists. So I'm gonna create a new function. Uh, make sure it's underneath uh, this method here. So here we're gonna go func create deck. It's gonna have no parameters, but we're going to return a string array. Okay, so the first thing we do is to list all of our suits. So all the suits in the deck, we have hearts, we have diamonds, we have clubs, and we have spades. So those are the four which we have. And we want to uh, append this to uh, a blank deck. Uh, which will also be of type string. Okay, and we're just going to make this empty. So we're going to be returning this blank deck eventually. So return blank deck. Okay, so this is what we need to return. So we need to create a loop. So for every suit in our suits, so for every one of these in here, uh, we're going to cycle around for each rank and the ranks go from one to 13. Okay, so we'll cycle through each of these and then we'll add a rank. Um, if the rank is less than 10, then we're going to uh, append a zero to it. So let new card equals suit plus zero. And then we'll convert our rank to a string also. And then I'll get my blank deck and append my new card that I just made. If it's not less than 10, then we can do the exact same thing, except we don't need a zero. Okay, the reason for this is because the way that I have set up my assets is that we have 0, 08, 0, 07, 0, 06, 0, 05, etc. So for all my lower numbers, I want to make sure it has a zero in front of it. Um, and for the large numbers, I won't have a value. Uh, this will also help us as well because when we uh, select the value of the cards, we're going to look at the last two characters uh, inside the string to extract the value, uh, which will come later on. So this makes sense for now. Okay, so this is creating our deck structure. So then all we need to do to actually make our deck is find our view did load. Okay, I'm gonna make a global variable called let deck equal blank deck. Okay, and then in my view did load, so when my uh, load first, oops, it wants me to be explicit. So let's say, okay, it's gonna be a string, an empty string deck. Okay, so then deck equals, and then we're gonna call my create deck method. Uh, this should give us an error because I've set this as a constant, and this should be a variable. 